air duct cleaning in the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene areas. Why you should do it and how it's done. Brought to you by the folks at CleanCo Carpet and Air Duct Cleaning. Air ducts collect contaminants like dirt, dust, hair, dander, allergens, nasty little mites, rodents and their droppings, and even mold which can cause serious health problems. The National Air Duct Cleaners Association says that dirty air ducts contribute to health issues for people with respiratory problems, autoimmune disorders, asthma, and allergies. The Environmental Protection Agency says that homes are two to five times more polluted than the outdoors. Sounds to me like it's time to get those air ducts cleaned. Here at CleanCo Carpet and Air Duct Cleaning, we use an industry-leading truck-mounted vacuum system. This truck is one big vacuum cleaner. As you can see here, it's quite powerful. Here at CleanCo Carpet and Air Duct Cleaning, we use only the very best and newest equipment to serve the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene areas. Okay, let's get into how air ducts are cleaned. Here you see the technician creating an access point and then installing a coupler that will receive the hose that we attach to the truck mounted vacuum. Cleanco Carpet and Air Duct Cleaning is licensed, bonded, and insured, and all of our technicians are highly trained and certified. So now we're gonna cover all of the vents in the home with a plastic film. This helps restrict airflow and create maximum vacuum at the vent that he's cleaning at the time. Here we use a spinning wire brush attachment to clean the boot and the connected duct. As you can see, as the brush breaks free any debris, the truck that's sitting all the way out in the driveway pulls it right out of the system. Now we're gonna step outside and use a high pressure hose to just clean off the vent diffuser and make sure that it's free of any debris. Now we use a high pressure air hose with a ball attachment. This is designed to prevent damage even in flexible air ducts. It's inserted all the way into the ductwork to stir up any debris so the vac truck can pull it from the system. Here you can see that the vac truck out in the driveway is powerful enough to pull this vent diffuser from the technician's hands and hold it up against the ceiling while he inserts the screws. This process is then repeated on every supply and return vent throughout the entire home one at a time. Now the technician makes access holes for these powerful air whips that get inserted into the ductwork and break loose anything that may be stuck to the sides, free it up and let the vacuum truck pull it out. Now he's going to clean the furnace compartment, the blower motor, and the A-coil if it's present. When he's finished, the technician installs access covers to seal up the holes where we originally made access to the system. Then plugs are installed to seal up the holes where the air whips were inserted. Then a sticker is placed on the furnace to remind the customer when his next cleaning is due. Sanitizers and deodorizers may be added to each vent to give your home the clean, fresh air that your family deserves. Thanks for watching everybody and keep your eye out for more informative videos from CleanCo, Carpet and Air Duct Cleaning. Now that's better.